Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I have a little project share of all the things that I made for the XOXO swap that um, Patty and Roxy uh, hosted for Valentine's Day. And they paired us up with um, a person and my um, swap partner is Mary, Car I think it's, she's on Instagram as made by Mary Carmen, um, but she goes by Maria. And I opted to go with the Baked with Love from, what is it, Doodlebug Designs. And these are some of the, well, a lot of the stuff that I made. And I'm going to package it up, but I wanted to share what I created. So I'm going to go through and um, talk a little bit about everything that I made. So we had to include certain pieces. And um, they had to have like a sweet theme, but you didn't, you could talk to your partner and see what you wanted to do. I told my partner that I had gotten the doodle bug, um, collection and then I just kind of free for all kind of thing, but we had to do a mailbox, a Valentine card, um, a memory decks card, five die cuts, uh, sh a sequin shaker, and then, um, a crafter's choice and then a gift of 20, uh, 10 to $20. So, I, here's my Valentine card I created. Um, I decided to use the little love pennant there from Scrap Diva Designs. It does help to have all those dies because I was kind of struggling. I used some of her stamps to put on the background of the card and then I put the little mason jar with the punch that I had and just made the cutest little card. Um, here's my memory decks card. I wanted to do something fun and playful and I did a um, a lot of sequins, which didn't take me as long as the last time I created one. And then I added a cute little um, gummy bear and matched the little, um, what are these called? Oh, hibichi, I think, or something like that. Um, little uh, beads. And then um, added some of the ephemera pieces from the collection. I, I love the way this turned out. I did add a lot of those little foam hearts. I was having fun with these Dollar Tree um or 99 cent store foam stickers that I found. Definitely loved. Okay, then the other thing was a sequin shaker. I decided to do a whole um, set of embellishments with the sequin shaker. I shared this one on my Instagram. I thought Maria would get a kick out of that one if I sent it to her. And then this is a fun little heart apple per se, and then the little pom-pom. And then I made a little heart um, embellishment with leftover pieces and just kind of played around with the collection i did use the scallop the heart scallop um, nesting dies from scrap diva designs and then here's the smaller size one so i added some ribbon trim and the little stickers there i had fun with those okay then here's the five dies that i created i made a pack i put the um i can't see but i did all of erica's um valentine words in there and then i did a bunch of different hearts and then i did the banners the wavy tag set i did two of each in different in all the um sizes and then i made this i shared this one on instagram but this is the whole um set now my crafter's choice is an embellishment box with the sequin shaker and I just, I love the way this turned out. I need to add more sequins because I'm struggling with that. But I just love the way this turned out. And the paper collection is so cute. Uh, this is Erica's um, gumball add-on, the Valentine one. So you guys definitely need to check it out because it, it's, and it's kind of cute just by itself too. But I love the way this turned out. And then the inside, I added a bunch of Valentine stuff, but I did one of the um, cut aparts from the paper. And then I added a bunch of stuff in there. That's Valentine's Day. And I am um, have a, lots of charms from um, the Happy Crafter Shop. And since I'm guest designing, I created um, little pieces to put in there. And I also shared some, which they come in perfect, like handy to share in little embellishment box and i love the color it's kind of blue i can't i want to say i found these either at michael's or um, walmart had them okay now the other thing i created which um i shared on social media was 
the little sequence tube. I found these at the 99 cent store and they're big bubble wands and I just washed it out and then used um, paper to like cover up because it does have some little water spots from when it dried but it was fun creating this and I have a little Instagram reel on how I did it and I think I shared it here on YouTube too. Okay this one I am absolutely in love with. Uh, I decided to make a little recipe box. Um, I found this dye. Oh gosh, I can't remember who the shop is. I'll I'll link it in the um, description box. But then I just made a little box out of it. And what I found was that Doodle Bug has these recipe cards. And I did. I think it's six. Yeah, six. They were all attached with like the little um, gum stuff there that you peel off. Anyways, I did six um, and then made these dividers and so she can label what she wants on there. But I thought it'd be cute since it's baked with love to make a little recipe box. And oh my gosh, I just love the way it turned out. It so cute. Um, uh, gosh, I want to say it's the stamp market, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look and see because I tend to sometimes... Um, not pay attention to what I purchase and then it gets set aside. Now the rest of this stuff is just extra. I haven't shared the mailbox because it's really really big. I did share a picture um, on the or I don't even think I shared it but this thing is so big. So I went to Michael's and I found this mailbox and it was for Christmas like Santa's mailbox and I took it and decorated it and here's the oof Gosh, you can't even tell, but it has this little flap that opens up. And I put a little sticker there, as you guys can see. And so it will close there like that. And then this is the other side. I shared some of this with the group and on my stories, but... Ah! Sorry, you guys, it's like so big. And so I'm going to put as much as I can in here. But this comes with the... Um, ephemera kit and then I have a punch from I think it's like Stampin Up and then this is just a die that I have I want to say I found at Michael's a long time ago and then these are just little um, foliage that I have uh, dies now this heart I completely cut out myself um, as you can see here here's a little template and then I cut a little hole and try to like make it you know go around it and I was going to have it move around but I kind of liked it standing up because I wanted to do the bow and have the bow um, kind of be very like the focal point of it. Uh, the bow is from Scrap Diva Designs. It's the double loop uh, scallop bow. I love the way it turned out. So cute. I added stickles in there so it'll be shiny. And then these are some embellishments, extra stuff I'm going to share that I made. Um, this is using Erica Soap Heart, no, the Heart Soap Pump uh, shaker, but it came with these little keychains. So I added, I made two sets uh, with the paper collection and I love the way it turned out. And then I just kind of kept the uh, bag topper simple just because I love how the heart looks. And then I made this, I just shared this on social media. It is a little pocket that holds some ephemera. And I use Erica's large lip album set that I had cut out to make another uh, memory dex card. And I had the leftover and I decided to stitch it with some cardstock and make it a fun little page. But I use this button I and all of this twine and you open it up and it has these little pockets and I put some of the little tags and ephemera pieces. I gave her some of the fun little shapes and then I added some hearts. I try to keep it flat just cause I don't want it to be too bulky cause I have to have all this fit inside the mailbox and I don't know if it is going to fit or not, but that's that. And then I made, um, I used uh, the bag topper, the heart bag toppers. And I'm gifting her, this is the set uh, that I found at the 99 cents store. I just love it. I am having so much fun playing with it. It's so pretty. The um, colors are just great. And then I added the heart, the heart scallop tap, um, not scalp, it's the heart topper, bag topper. And just added some charms. And then this one, I decided to add this tag. I don't know, because it had the muffins and the little 
stickers are from, I think they're Hobby Lobby. I had them from last year. And I did um, do another, the little mini size that comes in and I added a little bowl of like, you know, hearts and I used a crepe paper heart there and I just, I love the way it turned out. Then I have these cute little pieces. Okay, so these hearts come from uh, Walmart. They're this set here and it comes with all these colors. And so I thought it'd be perfect to add some little embellishments or not embellishments. I put um, these plastic bows in there and then I put some chipboard hearts in there. But I used the foam stickers on here and added these little flowers. And then I added a cute little tag. And then this fun little lollipop or ice cream pop. I got it, I think, I can't remember where I got this at. Someone gifted them to me, I think. And I decided to add all the charms in here. And you guys saw me use the cabotons from Happy um, Crafter Shop. And so I made them charms and I threw them all in here and added extra beads and stuff in there. And it just closes up like that. And so I'm going to put that all in there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll add a lot of the stuff that I used. I'll put it in the description box so that you guys can get access to it if you want. Um, I hope that Maria likes this and thanks Roxy and Patty for asking me to join. It was fun and I'm glad I got to participate and I hope you guys come back for some more videos that I'll be sharing soon. Thanks. Bye.